Well, my name is Victory Emuje Karowo, popularly known as Otwetwe One of Robo Kingdom, the Otulupweke of Robo Land, the Owoko Owoko. And uh, people also call me Mr. Badmos. I am from Delta State. Uh, I am from uh, Udu local government area of Delta State. Uh, well, a graduate from uh, University of Port Harcourt, an actor, an actor, a director, a producer, a production manager, a line producer. And the rest. Uh, somehow I will say yes, somehow, because I remember in those days uh, there is this, um, how will I say it now? We use um, kerosene to, to touch papers to do some movies. Those that we understand will understand what I'm saying. We put light somewhere, we put light behind. In a way, you, we start using maybe those things to fight themselves. It's like cinema on our own time. It's like we're just doing cinema then too. So I think that thing has been there right from time. Yeah, I also played drums. So with that, from my youthful age, I've been a drummer. So definitely all those dovetail into my lifestyle, then at the end of it all, I'm a good dancer also. And uh, I grew up, when I was to go to school, I said, well, I have to go in for theater art. So I read theater at the University of Port Harcourt. My favorite food is, um, if you know what we call banga, banga, banga soup. Banga soup and uh, correct eba. That is my favorite food. Yeah, um... The movies I've acted so far, they, uh, by God's grace, there are many. Some I played, uh, some I've played lead, some sub lead. Um, like the role I've acted, if you ask me, like uh, House of Badmos, which is a series, uh, I'm playing the role of uh, Mr. Badmos, uh, which is also very challenging. And uh, right now, even the Mr. Badmo that we are shooting now is a, is a new concept entirely from the Mr. Badmo that they used to know. Because right now, Mr. Badmo is rebranded. And the character is not just easy. It's not easy for one to put himself into that character. But by God's grace, I've been able to do my best to just uh, uh, make sure that I, I put my little effort on it to come out well. Um, I have done a lot too, like um, uh, Yours Faithfully. Um, I also played uh, the sub lead. Um, Police post. I also play the lead. And the uh, workshop. I played also the lead. And uh, there are a lot. There are a lot. There are a lot that I've, uh, I have done, which I cannot actually remember right now. And most of those roles, they have their different, different challenges. So I believe it is okay. Uh, well, uh, today, uh, as everybody know, uh, some years ago, uh, Zafa Award, 
used to be a London affair. And I must give it to the CEO, uh, Uncle Sam. I must give it to him. He has tried so much to make sure that uh, Zafa has come to stay. Uh, Uncle Sam owns him. You know, Zafa, like I said, is a London thing, but the time came that people were agitating that, brother, please bring this thing back to Nigeria. And uh, he did that. Then later he found out that there is no special support. He have to shift it back again to London. Then um, last year, we actually did Zafa here in Nigeria at uh, Abuja uh, Transcorp Hilton. And it was a wonderful, wonderful show. The show actually turned out to be very massive. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm the protocol officer of Zafa Award. And uh, we are doing everything possible to make sure that uh, Zafa this year will be more than Zafa last year. Uh, everyone that uh, attended Zafa last year will know that Zafa has actually come to stay. What we are just begging people, stakeholders, is for them to support this particular vision. This is one award that is not, uh, how will I put it, it's not uh, an award of uh, you know me, I know you know. And I also give it to them. The trophy, the trophy that we give to every winners is pure, pure gold. The trophy that we give to winners. And you can see that that trophy is the same company that is doing trophy for Oscar Award. It's the same company that is doing Zafa Award trophy. That is to tell you that Zafa kind of trophy is not just a trophy that is a roadside. It's a good trophy, an expensive trophy. So whoever that win at least Zafa trophy is a good opportunity for that person. So Zafa has come to stay. And I believe God it will continue to grow higher, higher, and higher. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, last year I was given uh, uh, an award that's a doctorate degree. Uh, it's an honor. It's an honor, actually. Uh, I would say that it has added so much to my profile. Um, it's not just the award. Because right now, a lot of people will be expecting so much also from me. And uh, when you are given an award, you also have to make sure that uh, you defend that kind of award. So I am happy receiving that award for, from uh, Bible Truth uh, College. So basically, it's a challenge for me to live up to expectation. Uh, being a doctor right now uh, makes me to feel uh, honored also. I, I also thank uh, uh, Dr. Henry Obidi, uh, who made it possible also uh, to make everything go on smoothly with the award. I'm happy. I'm happy, and I know, by God's grace, that honor that is bestowed on me uh, will take me higher, 
higher and higher. Well, the movie industry, like I know, is that uh, everybody is doing their own thing. Um, there are producers and there are producers and there are producers. I have special people that I actually work with. Uh, people like uh, Fred Atigogo, which is the producer of House of Badmos. I work also with uh, Peter Fada. Uh, these are people that I, I always work with. Uh, recently I worked with uh, Shaz Uwagbae. Uh, and a couple of other producers and directors in the industry. Um, right now, with the coming in of this uh, coro coronavirus, this COVID-19 has really slowed down a lot of things. Uh, what do we do? We don't have uh, any market that this market that we find ourselves. This is the business that we do. And now everything has been shut down. The little money that you have, you've been eating it, using it to buy pepper, using it to buy this. But there is this fear. If the whole money finish, what will you do? Uh, thank God for some producers. Even uh, at this period too, of uh, the lesser lockdown, uh, they started calling people to, to do one or two jobs. And uh, they started giving out so jobs for people to do, and people have started collecting little things to, to feed themselves. So it has not been an easy thing within this period at all. Uh, Nollywood as a whole, I think they come together to make sure that uh, people adhere to the rules of the government so that a lot of things will, people that believe on the stars, will also at least maintain uh, social distance and also to, to know that this coronavirus is not a shy play. I, I believe, actually, it has not been easy for Nollywood as a whole. Even if you are shooting right now, what you are doing is not a crowd thing. You do skits. You just to put on YouTube to make one or two money out of it, and that is all. So it's not really easy for Nollywood as a whole. Uh, well, um, I would say that every industry have their different challenge, and uh, I don't know because there is this thing that people say outside that uh, uh, if, uh, if you don't sleep with uh, producers or directors, you cannot get role in the industry. I just want people to know that it is not true. Uh, if you are good, you will get your role on the platter of gold. You will get that role at a platter of gold. There are a lot of things that people do. You cannot just uh, say that the director is this or the producer is this. There are even some actresses that come into this industry to come and seduce even directors and also producers, all in the name of they just want to get roles. So if a director or a producer that doesn't have his own uh, dignity, that doesn't know how to control his, his self. He may fall victim of all these things. We keep advising people. This is an industry that is vulnerable to a lot of things. But we, as a people here, we are just like any other human being. There is no feed that you will say that you will not get maybe uh, uh, a male chasing a female or a boy going after a girl or maybe a director going after this. But there is no way that a director will force a woman to sleep with that woman. Once you go on that line, that means you have matched that line. 
you have crossed that line. So we will not rule it out that maybe there are no issues where people do this or do that also. But we must be conscious of the fact that it is not all just like that, that uh, before you can come into the industry or before a role can be given to you, you must sleep with a producer or a director. Just rule that from your mind. If you want to come into the industry, pass through the right source, pass through the right way. We have gates. Pass through the gates. Register with the gates. Don't open yourself to people that cannot even tell you the way to go. Because if you do that, people are ready to, mis to misuse you. People will mislead you. People will use you the way they want to use you because you are not passing through the right source. But when you pass through the right source, you will know what is wrong and what is right to do in the industry. So there is no fear about it. Someone was saying the other time, he said, I would love my daughter to go into the industry, but uh, you know, these things are that I said, no. Let her just come in and be focused. Be focused. Nobody will force you to sleep with you. If you're an adult, nobody will force you to do anything. If you don't like someone that speaks to you, fine, you let it go. Because whoever that force you to do anything, like I said, has crossed the line. And that person can be sued for, for, for that, for molestation, for victimization. So I believe anyone that is coming in should be focused and also to try to pass through the right way. Don't pass through the window and enter. Pass through the door. Because if you pass through the window, it will affect you. It will affect you. Because if you pass through the door to enter, at least you can have people that will guide you. Well, uh, to finance uh, movies in the industry, it depends on the movies that you are talking about. Because uh, movies, they are of different class. Uh, there are some low budget movies and also some uh, expensive movies. Uh, basically, it depends on the movies that you are making. It has not been easy for people to actually get money to produce movies in this country. I, the same thing with anyone that wants to do business in this country. It's either you're expecting one of your uncle, it's either you're expecting one of your brother to give you money in order for you to start a business. So the same thing. Now, if you get that money to produce the movie, what you do is that you will also look out for how you're going to sell that movie. So I advise people every time because uh, no movie, no movie that is not important. As far as you can call your cast and your crew and you have your story, please shoot well. Because at the end of the day, you look at yourself, which market am I shooting for? Which market am I shooting this movie for? That is why you see a lot of people shoot. And at the end, you'll be asking the question, what happened to our job? He said, it's just there. Uh, uh, is the job in the market now? He said, no. Because when you shoot and you did not uh, consider, consider your market, it becomes a problem. Which audience are you shooting for? You should be able to know the audience, audience that you are shooting for. You should be able to know the audience you are shooting for. So that by the time that you finish your job, it will be easy. Or let's say it will be easier. It will be easy for you, at least, to market it for that audience. For instance, look at uh, musicians. At times, you, they, they will look at the trend and look at what is happening. And once they, 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 they drop any hit, they know the kind of class of people that they are singing for. And that class of people will embrace it. The same thing with movie. 
you cannot just come now and do one classic movie here and you see people uh, rushing it and all those stuff. There's always time for everything. Remember some years ago, Epic was the films that were raining. Epic movies, everybody wants to do epic, everybody wants to do epic. Then a time came, you see, comedy become something that is trending right now. It's even trending. You see, love stories are there, this one is there. So, depends on your market, depends on your audience. So, as a producer, know your audience, know those that you are producing for. So that at the end of the day, it will not be a difficult thing. It is not going to be difficult for you to market it, to market your job, because the end product matters. There's nothing as bad as after production or after your pre-production and your post-production. Maybe the content buyer looked at it and he said, no, we cannot buy this thing. Just Look at the whole energy and look at the finance that has gone into that production. Right now, I must give it to um, um, some of these bodies that are actually doing well in production. It's not easy, but we can go right now. We are also expecting some foreign partners to come into the country. Uh, George Gef uh, Jeffrey uh, is involved. We're expecting some people to come in into this country from Europe. You understand? Now, we have been on the plant for like close to like three months now. So if you want to do a project, a proper project, you must plan for it. Well, I'm relaxing now. You, can you imagine? I've been shooting House of Badmos for like close to today, we'll make it day four. We just uh, managed to shoot some few episodes this period. And uh, let me say since yesterday till this morning that I'm talking to you, I don't know the time right now, I have not slept. I have been shooting because I am playing the lead and the Mr. Badmos. So anybody coming in, any guest coming in, Mr. Badmos is always there. So this is how we roll. Because to some people, the job is just, ah, is it not just to act? But for a man to stand since yesterday, morning till now, <laughs> my brother, it's not, it's not that easy thing. But I still, we still thank God for everything. Uh, I also thank my producer, uh, Frederick Artigogo. He has been a very good, wonderful, he's not just a producer, he's a brother, uh, he's a friend. I mean, I give it to him because uh, uh, this is uh, 10 years of Mr. Badmos. This is 10 years of Mr. Badmos series. This year make it 10 years that Mr. Badmos has been ruling on air. So it, it has not been an easy thing, but we give God the glory and the thanks that Mr. Badmos have gone this far and people also want to see more of Mr. Badmos. That is why we are doing more shooting on Mr. Badmos. So I believe that uh, whatever that is worth doing is worth doing well. Oh, for this period that we are now, no matter what the government is telling us, even if we don't believe in what they are saying, let us just keep safe, maintain social distance. Don't just doubt that this thing called coronavirus is not existing. Let us just keep ourselves. It is better that we keep ourselves than to find ourselves in the hospital. Let us just continue. At least it is God that can look after us. But let us 
abide by government rules so that we will not be victims. <laughs>